Hey you guys, I hope all is well. If you're watching this video, it's a couple of days after me and Geneva Live we did here recently, last Friday. If you missed it, I'll put it down at the bottom of the video so you can see the footage that we had Friday that we talked about. I'm going to go into a few things, but I'm not going to stay on this mic real long. Um, I saw some comments. I'm glad that I do read them, but I, I understand why Geneva don't because there's a lot of negativity, but there was a lot of positive energy as well. One thing I will never do as a woman, a female, a civil rights activist, a victim advocate, a mandate reporter, and a person of all things, I will never kick a person when they are down. I myself as a woman have went through so much over the last eight years about a situation that I had no control over. I got dragged into this Steve Harvey and Mary Harvey mess because of me being a civil rights activist and trying to be concerned about situations that had went on. But in the surrounding of all that, I began to be stalked, harassed, threatened, cyberbullied. I even went and tried to um, go to court against Steve. But so many times, um, my family was threatened, my house was um, threatened, my kids were stalked, and Steve Harvey paid people to do this. It's not what I say, it is truly what I can prove. So I walked away. Because if I had, I've had the chance to go to court in an honorable court of law, then everything that I'm getting ready to say on this video, I wouldn't put it out on the video. I would have done it in the courtroom. But because I saw the court system being paid off in my court case, my court case from a restraining order was paid off that I had it for three years and a judge took it off of this man six months and the judge saw all of the evidence. I had never been in a situation that I had to keep somebody else secrets and lies and things and for what? And I was trying to do everything the way that an actor was supposed to do it, not violate anybody, but I watched a whole court system violate me and violate other people to protect a person that says they have celebrity status and they can pay a whole system of people off. I can't live, I could not live, I would not live with myself another year doing that. Where people have not heard this story, then later on, I'm going to tube everything in a book. But that's not here nor there. Because my book is going to be about the truth. And what I endured. And maybe it can help other people so they won't endure the same thing. There were so many things that Mary shared with me over the years. It's just too many to take accountability for. So that's why I had footage. I have tapes. I have videos, I have emails, I have letters, I have text messages, I have even voicemails that have been saved. So I could get to this point right here just in case if anybody wants to lie, if anybody want to run me up in a court of law about what I'm getting ready to say, I had to break free from myself to tell the truth. Because I saw how a man like Steve Harvey was married to Mary Harvey and look how he did her. Look how he treated her child, her children, and that was horrible to me. The first incident I found out about that really just cringed my heart and my soul is when I first saw the police report about Winter. He was beaten with a sorority paddle and a belt buckle, and the bruises were so horrific. If someone was to contact the CIA in Texas, they could see those photos. All that should have been up on investigation. Yes, Winton is grown now, but those scars will be embedded in his life forever. I had never seen nothing of such magnitude up until now because I was an abused child. And I think that's why it affected me. Not I think. I know that's why this case affected me so hard. Because a woman knew that we were being abused and she never told anybody. And I wondered in my mind, like, lady, you see us being beat up like this. Why aren't you telling someone? And no one came to help us. We had to help ourselves. So that's why I'm a survivor. And I feel like that's why I took all this more serious than Mary anybody could ever imagine for me. Because I know it had to be hard for her. But I'm talking about me. To see that as an abused child growing up, 
and to be a woman to see that it was hard for me. And then in the reports, it was saying how Winton could not use the bathroom and there was blood in his urine. That was two weeks later. My mind was lost. Steve continued to try to gag me from a state that he didn't live in, nor that I live in. Judge Anza Tucker needed to be up on the investigation for trying to blackmail me and taking a warrant out on me in Collins County, a city and a county I've never been in. Right there, she should be removed for that alone because Steve Harvey paid her all these years to lie, to say I was a co-conspirator and extortionist. So his, his lies and the things that he had did would not come out. Whatever I'm getting ready to say is what Mary told me. I don't believe in saying a ledge. And everything I'm saying is on footage. So I can repeat it, put it out. But uh, I'm not going to just do it like that. So if I have to go to the district attorney, the DA, uh, whoever, whoever, that I feel comfortable that I will turn that footage over to, it's going to be what it's going to be. But I will not let anybody else try to destroy me for Steve Harvey's credibility. It's not that important to me to be famous on no level, on any circumstances. I also remember when Mary told me that that was one of the times, you know, that I'm telling you guys about. And that's when he was, Mary had separated from Steve. But it was several times because if you remember, Mary said it was three different times that she wanted to try to leave this man. One was Steve would always be in the bathroom butt naked with his private part hanging out, his dingling dangling everywhere. And he would call Winton in the bathroom or where he was, where he was brushing his teeth or his hair or whatever at that time when he had hair. And when Winton would come in the room, he Mary said, Steve private part would be right at Winton's face. And I got that on tape. And other things she said with that. And I was running my mind, like, why would he do that? And Mary was like, what's wrong with you, Steve? Why would you do that? How are you going to do some shit like that? That's what she said. And she was scared to leave Winter around, Steve. Point blank, period, simple. But because they gagged her, what I'm telling you, you probably would have never heard it. There was a time when, and that was a, a one incident. And there was an incident when Mary was married to Steve and they had a guest house. Um, Stephen was there, Mary's nieces was there, um, she was there, and Steve would always go to this guest house, but he had a padlock on the door. The padlock was on the door, so nobody would be able to get in there, but Mary um, figured out the code on the door, and when they walked in there, it, she said it was dingy in there, but it was, and that's on the video, if you go back and look on my page now, saying something of that magnitude. I didn't release the whole video, but I released some things because I wanted people to know what I had to deal with all these years in my mind. Um, there was a brown desk in there. There was a computer in, on the desk. There was a jar of Vaseline, $6,000 in cash, $1 bills. In the computer, there was pornograph, porn of all men, young and old, and she said it turned to her stomach. At that time, Mary got nervous because she felt like Steve would try to violate her sons or do something to her sons. But because when she saw that, she already knew, okay, that Steve had tendencies because there was a guy that said Steve showed up in the bedroom, butt booty naked in a hotel room, a comedian, called his name if I have to. And after Steve walked in there, said he reached over him trying to get some out of the bed. And his dingling was all in um, this man's face. He didn't want to deal with Steve no more. So he took off. But he told Mary what happened. So Mary had knew certain things. And she was already looking cross-eyed at Steve Harvey. If they hadn't gagged her, you would have known this. <clears throat> there was a time when <clears throat> Stephen... Could have been 14, 15, if I'm not mistaken. I got to go back and listen to the videos, but he was a teenager. Mary had gone somewhere. Um, Steve was close to, to Mary's son, Stephen. Um, I think she said since four years old. So I don't know what happened behind that time when he was young, because if he was walking around hanging his dingling in Winter's face, he pretty much was doing it with Stephen too. 
But one day, um, Steve said that Steve called him. He called him into the garage. The garage was dark and dreary looking. And it was a slight bit of a light. But what he could see, the cast of Steve's body. His shirt was totally unbuttoned. His pants were unzipped and halfway down. And he tried to molest Mary's son in the garage. Stephen fought Steve off, scared for his life, ran upstairs, locked the door, and waited till Mary came home. But still scared to tell Mary till later on. Because Steve went up there and tried to jump on him and beat him and tell him that he better tell Mary to stay with him or else. So because Stephen didn't do that, we're here right now. So how could Stephen tell it or how could Mary tell it if Steve gagged? There are people who like both sexualities and try to hide it. It's just unfortunate that Judge Andrew Tuck and all these other people and the lawyers, Ricky Anderson knew, Bobby Edmund knew, Angela Tucker knew, Margie Harvey knew. And they gagged Mary because she knew I was going to tell the truth. Mary told me he was on the down low, straight up. And I have that on tape as well. She said she had, he has gay tendencies, but how could she put that out to the media and out to the world? Because it would damage Winton. And how would Winton be able to look through the world and find out that his dad is on the gap down low? I'm pretty sure Winton already knew that. Because if a 13-year-old boy come and ask you mama's a sin to be gay, why would he ask Mary that? And that is why Steve kept Winton away from his mother. Steve broke up a family. Steve kept Winton away from his big brother. Why? Because you didn't want Winton to tell things you had done. And let me make this clear. Winter's not going to say nothing about his father because, one, he's scared to death of him. Two, they saw what he did to Mary. Stephen saw what he did to Mary. The world saw what he did to Mary. But no one did anything to stop any of this. And to make insults to injuries because I saw what happened to Mary. I was stalked. I was threatened. I was harassed. I had to relocate my whole destination. And I'm still being stalked by Steve Harvey today. He has a channel on YouTube called Spook Channel 7 or Spook Media TV. 100% that is Steve Harvey. Mary says she heard his voice. Tommy the nephew, Oprah, you need to get Tommy. And she heard her son went. And the only reason why Mary told me is that Spook Channel 7 had my page flagged for copyright infringements. The only way he could do that if I was using his likeness Every video he had, which I can show you that too, if not go on my Instagram, it was said Steve Harvey's a liar, Steve Harvey framed F.C. Berry, Steve Harvey committed a collusion, Steve Harvey paid off Andrew Tucker, and all these videos had this man face on them. I didn't even try to fight it because I didn't care. Because I knew then, because of all that I had put out previous, that people knew who I were. So flag it. A YouTube channel. But it's not going to stop F.C. Berry. I would cringe sometime when I would see Steve when he was on that show with NBC. So I want to thank NBC for taking him around those little kids because I was scared that he would do something. It really hurt me and upset me to know that he gagged Mary to stop Mary's son from telling that he tried to molest him. It doesn't matter what is said. It is what can be proven. So now this time you would have to go get Mary's son. You would have to go get Mary, and you would have to go get her family that are witnesses to the crimes that Steve committed against the Vaughn family. And because he could not do what he wanted to do with me, he continued to stalk me because he thought it would silence me. But in the back of my mind, I'm still thinking like, dude, like, how you doing this? And I knew it was just not about money because it was coming too hard. They had made about eight pages stalking me, Geneva, other bloggers, CT, Miss Pam. There are other bloggers, at least eight other bloggers that was being stalked because they stood up and said my name. Because I knew that Steve Harvey tried to rape Mary's son, Stephen, in the garage. And I had to keep that silent. I'm going to always look at myself. A certain way 
because it shouldn't have took eight years for this day to come. But no matter what comes out of this now, everything I spoke on this video, I have footage and tapes and videos and text messages and letters of all this. And I will remain to keep it till I know the right person to t turn it over to. And at this time, I cannot change what has went on with Stephen for 16 years that he had to bear the silence to watch his mom be beaten down because she wanted to tell the truth. And I asked Mary, do you think he did something with this? Mary said, hell yeah. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. If he beat my son like that, yes, I do think he did something with him. You take your pick what you think that may be. That's not for me to decide. No one's for me to tell any of this. But to know a man of this power will go to this much magnitude to shut someone up, I knew it was more than just money. And the only way that I could prove and do what I needed to do was to step in the court of law. But in order to, for me to step in the court of law and get justice, I had to have a just court. And there were none not even in California, because I watched Steve pay Judge Holly off to dismiss my case with prejudice. I watched Steve pay Judge Garza off to remove a restraining order from against him. You can't get a restraining order unless 1% beyond a shadow of a doubt that there is evidence. And what they did, so I could not fight that restraining order, they sent all the mail to the wrong address. And they were able to lift it, even though I showed up in court. But it's okay. Because if I had to still hit that restraining order right now, I could not be doing the things I've done and the things that I've said. And this was my time to let God and let go and to be free from all this crappy mess that has transpired over the years that Mary's told me. And they tried to gag her. Well, they gagged her and tried to gag me, tried to gag Geneva and other people. Because he tried to molest Mary's son, pretty much rape him, and his, her son fought it off. And Mary said, Stephen wanted to tell it. Her son wanted to tell it. But she said, Essie, how do you tell, and look what they've done to me. How did that baby go and tell what Steve did to him if they doing Mary like that and locking her up? They have an illegal warrant against me to silence me because I know the truth about what Steve did. So if you're just going to try to come get me and lock me up and make me a criminal for some things I didn't do, then go get Steve Harvey for trying to molest and rape Mary Oldest's son. Nobody ever asked, where was he? No one ever asked, what happened? No one ever asked why steve didn't keep a relationship with them because why because the state of texas gagged mary harvey and they were willing to gag any other person around mary harvey to keep steve's truth but i got sick on my stomach every day i got sick on my stomach every day to know in the back of my mind mary told me any of this and the only way I could get justice, I thought, was in court. But every time I walked through court, I was getting violated left and right. So I don't have to live with none of this stuff more. I don't have to live with the lies. And whatever happens from here, then let justice be served. But God knows that I have did all I could do to let go of this Harvey mess, Mary, and everything else with it. And someone said, if Mary needed you right now, would you be there? Sure, I would be. Because I'm an activist before anything. But I became more than that when I got embedded into these problems. And I got embedded because of these things I just told you on this video. How can I just turn away? And Stephen, I talked to Stephen. Stephen is one of the most highly intelligent young men that I've met. Very articulate. And in a split second, Steve Harvey was able to break up his brother, family, he took the only brother that went to head with him away because you were angry at Mary or you were married, mad because Stephen fought you off because you couldn't rape him or molest him. Or did you beat Winton because Mary left you because she was scared that what you would do to her sons? Now that's the real truth. So let's go get lie detectors. 
Let's go get true syrup and let's go get anything else we need because my conscience is clear now because to tell me something like that, I don't know how to keep that a secret. I don't know how to continue to keep quiet. That's why I fought for eight years. So if anything should happen to me now on any level, I'm free because I've told the truth. If anything should happen to Winton, Mary, or Stephen, her son, then the first person you should look at is Steve Harvey. Margie Harvey knew all that I'm telling you, but she ain't about this life. She about the money. As long as her kids were okay, she was okay. But she didn't care about the damage that they did to Winton or to Stephen. And there's a doctor named Dr. Hughes. You went and took yourself up to that mansion with Steve and, and was drinking and kicking it with them. When you were ordered to do therapy to get Winton, his brother, Mary, and all them back together, Steve wasn't going to do that because he knew he had already tried to rape and molest Mary's son. I'm going to cut this off right here because my stomach is turning just to keep even thinking about it. My conscience is clear. Eight years was too long for me to get to right where I am now. But I tried to do it the legal way and walk up into the court and no one heard me. So now, do Mary still got to be gagged because Steve tried to rape her son? Are y'all going to go get her son and ask for that? Are you going to keep locking people up and letting kids get violated? And I'm glad he don't have that boys camp. And if he do, take your sons and run. Every time I saw him, I wanted to take Winton and run. He snatched Winton in 2015 so Mary wouldn't go live. So Winton wouldn't go live with Mary. What's wrong with that picture? He didn't want Mary to, he didn't want Winton to tell Mary what he had already done through him through the years. And I can, can imagine the hurt that Winton is carrying and what he did to Winton when Mary wasn't looking. Mary could only save Winton when she had him. But when Steve took him, he signed a conservatorship and a POA in the court of law up under Angela Tucker to take Winton. Mary never signed it. She never signed the divorce papers. But he did all this stalking and all this harassment because you don't want people to know he's on the down low or you don't want people to know that you tried to rape Mary's son or you didn't want people to know that you had a ding a -ling dungeon. Well, you didn't want people to know that you was walking around in front of Winter with your ding leg out and think it was funny and Mary was trying to leave you and then you're going to try to beat her son so he can be made to stay with you. I'm done with this whole conversation. You take this video and do what you like. If the authorities were right right now, then you would go find Stephen and let him tell you what Steve did to him. And then let Mary tell you some of the foul things that she had to live with watching her sons go through that and wondering every day was Winton being molested as well. I'm free from Steve Harvey and all this mess that I had to live with. And people wanted to ask me, Essie, why were you invested? I was invested, mothers aunties, daughters, sisters, because that could have been your kids. That could have been your son. And because someone's high powered, don't give them the right to violate anyone.